The New Horizons update added 11 new weapons and a bunch of secrets in Outriders, especially in some of the new expeditions that you're definitely going to want to go ahead and check out. But of course, there's also some changes made to loot farming, especially when it comes to legendaries. Some of the old farming methods are gone, they have been replaced with the new ones, and there's a few other tips and tricks in there that I'm gonna show you, so let's jump right into it. Let's begin with the expeditions and rebalancing done to their rewards. Yeah, people can fly remove that countdown timer for all of the expeditions, meaning that they also had to rebalance some of the rewards you get at the end of them. In the previous update, you would run Boomtown back to back to get the most amount of legendaries in the shortest amount of time, especially with a proper build. Well, that has been slightly nerfed in the new update, or should I say rebalanced, because now it only gives two items instead of four of the bonus items we had previously, with only a 40% legendary drop chance between them. Meaning Meaning that this is no longer the most viable option when it comes to just purely farming legendaries. Don't worry though, because the meta has changed a little bit, but there are some great alternatives still. And this brings us to the paid expeditions, aka the ones that cost drop on resources to start in the first place. And you're going to see different numbers for different expeditions depending on their cost, but by far the most rewarding of them all outside of Eye of the Storm is now Scorched Lands. So this will now give you access to 4 bonus items with a 48% legendary drop chance, the only one higher than this is Eye of the Storm with a 50% chance to legendaries, but obviously that is much more difficult. Of course, you also get a lot more drop on resources and the biggest bonus is going to be to the increased rarity all of the rewards will have increased rarity which means that this is like the perfect way to farm all of these legendaries in the new update and i might argue that scorched lands is a pretty easy expedition anyway even on city 15 because it's super easy to like group enemies and take them down super fast so even compared to some of the new expeditions this might be a little bit better for you of course the best of them all is likely going to be eye of the storm assuming you can complete this reliably it gives you a number of really amazing bonuses here. It has the highest legendary drop chance of 50%. But its biggest bonus comes from the selectable reward at the end of it. You get a choice between two armor pieces and a gun, meaning that you have much more control over the items that you get at the end of these runs. And of course, it still retains the increased rarity bonus like how it was with some of the previous paid expeditions. Now, as far as Tiago goes, I kinda enjoy re-rolling him instead of just outright buying that legendary drop from him, especially the closer you get to uh, pretty much being done with all of the legendaries in the game it becomes a lot more difficult to get the item of your choice the more you already have previous legendaries so there's a case to be made for simply re-rolling the item and hear me on this one the explanation is rather simple and it goes like this if you outright just buy the legendary chest you get just that a random legendary drop which might still be completely useless to you meanwhile if you pick the re-roll option which is 20k more expensive you get five or so more chances is to finally see an item of your choice or something that you're still missing for your character. Even though you still have to pay that extra sum on top to even acquire it in the first place, at least you have a little bit more control over the outcome when it comes to finalizing your builds and making your characters complete. But if you're already farming CT 15 or even 14, you should have more than enough to afford all of these prices. Totally, of course, let me know down below what is your preferred method. Do you prefer re-rolling him? or do you prefer just buying those chests outright? This, of course, brings us to the secret areas and the 11 new Ruiner items that were added for all weapon categories. And of course, you find these at the end of each of the four expeditions added in the New Horizons update, but they are located inside the secret rooms that might or might not be a little bit more complicated to find out. And the most easy to find is, of course, located in the Molten Depths and pretty much at the end of the expedition, once you defeat the last boss and open open up that drop pod, you're going to hear a phone ringing nearby. It's actually going to be on to the left side of your character or the drop pod, simply interact with it and this is going to bring you to a secret room inside of which you're going to find a secret chest. And in my case, this gave me access to the Ruiner Rifle, which is a really cool epic automatic sniper rifle. Of course, the stats on these weapons are probably not the best 
what you're looking for here are the skins which also unlock alongside with them second secret room is going to be located in the martial complex map also newly added with the new horizons update and once you finish the encounter and also get a drop pod just turn back and head over right in front of you you will see this big gate that will start opening right there and this will give you access to pretty much people can fly's secret developer room you can even see their logos on the screens there's people working on computers i think you know just coding maybe the game maybe making the connections a little bit better but in the middle of it right in front of you right here you're going to notice there's this secret chest again that will give you access to yet another ruiner weapon i did not mention these but all of these drops are random so you might encounter something different for example in a second run i did in the same location i got this other weapon the ruiner scythe which is of course a shotgun so you can pretty much repeat these on any ct on any difficulty and you're still going to get rewards out of them because at the end of the day the only thing you need from these are the really awesome skins but this brings us to the third secret area and maybe a little bit more complicated if you didn't pay attention to your surroundings it's located in the wellsprings expedition also newly added in the new update and what you have to do once you finish the last encounter and open up the drop pod is to simply head over way back from where you came from just head over to these tunnels all the way in one of the rooms prior to this until you see this junction right here. The stairs on the right side are the ones you used to come here and meanwhile the ones on to the left side is the newly opened up path that will bring you to this secret room beneath. With this very interesting character that seems to be working on probably one of the mascots for the Outriders game or at the very least one of the characters from what it seems but right next to him you're going to notice there's another chest and in my case this gave me access to the ruiner yeah epic revolver which looks pretty awesome again all in the same theme but there's only one secret room left for you and also the most complicated of them all this brings us finally to the city of nomads and the one that has the most complicated secret room and also a secret boss encounter you actually have to shoot down nine skulls found inside of this expedition before you can open up the secret area at the end of the entire track the first skull is going to be located right at the spawn point at the beginning of the expedition on the right side right here on this pillar so just shoot it down and continue forward this will bring you in the first big room and what you want to do is to head over here to the right go over the first pair of stairs and on this moss wall behind the vegetation is where you will encounter the second skull so simply go ahead and shoot it down and there's a final and the third one in the same room head over over here to the left side up until the top of the stairs where you will encounter these three statues the statue you have to shoot down is going to be the third one shoot the skull and that's going to be the third one for now now from this point on head over into the second room using these stairs and stop right here at the entrance and just look up to the left on the wall because that's going to bring you to the fourth skull that you can bring down while still in the same room also pay attention to the right side of this like fountain area you're going to notice that there's some water pipes right here on this wall and you're going to want to shoot this one onto the right because that's going to hold the fifth skull for now the next two skulls are going to be located in this passageway so to speak so after passing this archway right here you're going to notice that there's a gap between these two buildings pay attention to that chain because hanging of it is going to be the sixth skull that you will want to shoot down while still in the same area just head over right here to the left side before entering the next room and pay attention to this structure slash pillar behind this tree simply shoot it down and that's gonna be number seven once you're done with that head over in this room where you have to fight some of these humanoid enemies and just head over to the right and keep on to the right until you reach the end of this kind of like staircase and once you're here you're going to notice that there's a gap in the wall and there's also like a purple outline simply shoot where i'm shooting right now exactly in the corner of it as that's going to give you access finally to the eighth skull and there's only one left which is going to be located in the final room encounter and once you open up this drop pod behind you you're going to notice that there's this big wall with a couple of statues on it you're going to want to shoot the head of the statue onto the left side as that's going to hold the final skull needed in order to open up this um, of course secret area and also give you a new quest called realm of fear 
this will finally open up a new secret area on the right side of the room after opening up that drop pod and of course you can also see the runes being activated at the top of it now i'm not going to spoil anything here because there's a secret boss encounter that is quite difficult a lot more difficult than the encounter so far in the same level so just make sure you have a proper build for that but once you're done with that don't exit the area yet don't interact with the bonfire instead make absolutely sure you open up the chest to the right side of it as this is going to give you access to yet another ruiner weapon in my case it was a ruiner brigade of course it can be something else eventually if you repeat this but is it worth repeating when the other ones are way easier than this in my opinion not really you might just want to do this for the achievement or maybe the encounter and that's it i would probably do the other ones from the other expeditions to get the remaining of the Rainer weapons. This is it for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.